back to Secret Tutorials. My name's Ryan. Today we're doing the bungo drum. <coughs> it's honestly not one of my personal favorites. I don't really use it in many beats, but it is highly requested. So today we're going to go over it, and it's uh, it's it's a very difficult sound because you have to learn two different two different sounds. First one's more difficult, and that is the <coughs> the inward K without the air, and the second one, second one is the <coughs> just like that. You put them together, you get a little. <coughs> What you're doing with this sound is you're actually making the inward K sound without the air. So it's a... So let's start off and get that sound. Remember that sound is coming from the flaps at the back of the mouth there. It's, uh, it's actually coming from the sides of the tongue on the back and it's flapping like this. So you're creating some suction, some pressure, and you're releasing at the back. Like I stated before, I think it's easier to learn with the air in there because when you have the air going in your mouth, it's easier to find that sweet spot. And of course, it's always about finding that sweet spot, that spot where the tongue and the roof is supposed to meet and supposed to make this little sound. We just breathe in a bunch of air we go <laughs> until we get some type of popping, much like the sound when we do this, which most people can do. It's very reminiscent of that, but it's just a it's just different movement with the back of the tongue. What I do with my tongue, again, is I plant the tongue right behind the teeth or on the roof of the mouth. I do it sort of either way to get different sounds. But probably best, easiest, to put your tongue on the roof of your mouth, the, the very front of it, set it right on the roof of the mouth. And you just want to have it really planted there. Don't even move it, and it's the back of the tongue that's moving. So it's the back of the tongue that's going against the roof of the mouth and then creating suction and then releasing. I hadn't mentioned this before, but really you're getting a lot of the pop off the molars as well. It's not just the gums, the top of the mouth, but it's the molars. It's the, it's the, it's the side of the back of the tongue on the molars, and that's releasing, and you're getting that pop. Once you find that pop, and again, it's going to take a long time to find it. It uh, could be a couple hours for some, could be a couple days, maybe a couple months. It's very difficult for some, but uh, once you do get it, we're going to eliminate the air, so we're going to get this sound. So it's already deep as it is, but now we're going to put that little bass in that, that little ba -bum bongo Terrible joke. Second sound is just a vocal throat sound, and again, that is that sounds like a uh, 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 uh. Not too much explanation there, you're just saying the word oh, 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 pretty deep, as deep as you can get it. Now that you got both sounds, it should be fairly easy to combine both sounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to do <coughs> right at the same time there. There may be a little pop slightly before you make the little vocal throat sound, but really it's, it's almost hitting at the same time. <coughs> I think the best practice beat for this is the one I was actually doing in the beginning, which is more of like a, like a techno beat, so it's really good for techno beats. So. Don't get too frustrated if you can't get this sound today. Uh, it's going to take you a while. I would consider it one of the more difficult sounds we've uh, attempted to learn at uh, Best Secret Tutorials. But uh, it's a good one to learn because it's, uh, it's a very interesting and unusual sound. It certainly sounds good on a microphone. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Hopefully it helps. You know, I am up for answering all questions. Uh, so go ahead and, and let them go. Please uh, subscribe and uh, give me a good thumbs up on this video. And I will see you guys hopefully in another week with another tutorial.